The Console Emulator Pro Channel Module emulates some important analog console characteristics. Analog circuitry has subtle distortions that accumulate in the signal path, and also many consoles used audio input or output transformers which can affect the sound. Although these effects are subtle, they're noticeable, and now thanks to the console emulator, they're controllable as well. To truly emulate a console, insert a console emulator channel last in every channel's Pro Channel. Right-click in the Pro Channel or in a Pro Channel effects header and choose Insert Module, then choose Console Emulator Channel. If necessary, drag it to the last position in the chain. You can also use Quick Grouping to insert a console emulator for every audio channel in a project. In a non-selected channel's Pro Channel, while holding down the Control key, Insert a console emulator channel module. Now every channel will have one inserted. It's even more convenient if you right click in a pro channel with the desired collection of modules and select Set Modules as Default for Tracks. Now when you insert a new track, the console emulator will already be inserted in the pro channel. Also, there are several templates that incorporate the console emulator. These can be very useful when starting a new project. Quick grouping is ideal for adjusting the console emulators, as well as bypassing them to hear how they affect the sound. While holding down the control key, choose a pro channel that's not in a selected channel, then set the trim control to about 2. Similarly, while still holding down the control key, set the drive control to 2. These are fairly conservative settings, but the effect is cumulative over multiple channels, so you'll hear a difference. It's important to start your mix while the console emulators are already in place, and do your mix with all of them enabled. Adding them after the fact to an existing mix is rarely as effective. Let's listen to how the console emulator affects a basic rhythm section of drums, bass, and rhythm guitar. You'll hear a definite difference over good speakers or headphones. As you develop your mix, experiment with the different console types. Again, quick grouping makes this easy. An additional console emulator is optimized specifically for bus pro channels, such as Reverb, Master, and AUX buses. Like the channel version, you should add this prior to beginning a mix. Also note that the controls work identically to the channel version, except that there's no trim parameter. Some people prefer using only the channel console emulators, while others use console emulators in both the channels and buses. Try both to hear what you prefer. But remember that quick grouping with bus channels affects only other bus channels. For example, bypassing all the bus console emulators with quick grouping will not bypass all the channel console emulators. Finally, pay close attention to gain staging within the pro channel. Being at the end of the chain, the console emulator will emphasize any distortion that occurs before it. If the clip LED lights, turn down the gain going to the channel or adjust the output controls of one or more modules as needed to avoid distortion. You can even insert an effects chain module that doesn't have any effects to take advantage of the input and output level controls.
Console emulation is a subtle effect, but when used properly, can give that extra bit of mojo that makes a mix stand out just that much more. If you're like most users, you'll find that as you learn how to apply the console emulator properly, you'll want to use it on all your mixes.